Hi guys, and welcome to part one of my MEC tutorial. Now, I'm gonna be releasing a couple of videos over the next few weeks, and they're gonna cover off all the mechanical components um, that I used to build the Lego Gundam. Now, I'm not gonna take you through brick for brick with um, the build, because um, I'm not allowed to make a video that's six months long on Instagram or YouTube, because that's how long it would probably be. So. What I wanna do though, is take you through the main principles, the main mechanics, and so that you can see what I've done, and then you can take away and use what you want from those videos, and you know, add on to it, because you know, that's the best part. You know, we all learn from someone else, you know, and I'll be talking about the different um, mech builders that have helped inspire me throughout, you know, different parts of the series. Now, um, before we get into it, just wanted to show you some quick points on this model, because this was the actual inspiration for my Lego Gundam. Um, I'm gonna take you through, in part one, the arm and um, the shoulder. So we're gonna start off with the shoulder first, and I'm gonna show you all the different parts of articulation that we have to capture with our custom mechanical uh, Lego joints. So first off, we've got a lateral shoulder movement. We have to be able to capture that. The armor actually lifts up so that the arm can raise higher than just the shoulder point. You've got a shoulder rotation, 360 degrees. You've got, you've got what's called a bicep swivel here. This is a really cool joint. You've got a double jointed elbow, just like that. And a wrist. And I've just popped that off. So that's what we wanna capture in um, the shoulder articulation. Now, part one, we're gonna go through the sh main shoulder component. And then in part two, we're gonna go through the bicep and the wrist. Okay, let's go. So guys, this is the shoulder joint. And again, we're gonna to touch on the points of articulation. So imagine this is plugged into the side of your mech, just like that. You've got a 360 degree rotation here. That goes all the way around. You've got your lateral shoulder movement built into with these ratcheted click joints, like that. You go back down, you can also rotate while it's in its raised position, which is what we wanted. And then you've got your biceps, bicep swivel here, controlled by this drive shaft. Everything locks into place once it's moved, it doesn't move again. There's a slight tolerance, but happy to live with that for the purpose of this build. All right, let's go, get into it. 